I loved being out on the water, you know, I love the feeling of it. Everything just kind of came naturally to me. We were heading out to set a load of gear, which consisted uh, on our boat of 100 traps. Um, it was my son, Tyler, and myself. We just got out there and we hadn't even put a single trap in yet. And we dropped the tailgate at the back of the boat. I put the first trap down, it goes out, you know, nice and easy. And then after that, the rope snagged the second trap in the set. It bumped into me while I was there. I lost my balance. So instead of fighting it, I just jumped in. It's very hard for me to see with the amount of traps that are stacked up on the boat. And I didn't realize he had gone over until I didn't see his head pop back up. Uh, so I ran back and that's when I discovered he was floating in the water. Very you know, lucky that uh, I had my flotation device on. You know, I was able to stay afloat. My father was able to kick the boat into reverse and I was able to grab the chain along the side of the boat. When I was in the water, I really wasn't thinking about much. It was just more, I can breathe. And the next step was, you know, getting out. When I finally was able to get back to Tyler, I was able to pick him up physically. I reached down and grabbed Tyler out of the water. The first thing I guess that went through my head is, I'm still here. I'm not one of those statistics. And after that, we just set the gear out and just went home. I think both of us were really in shock. We were both shaking. Never had a man go overboard and to have one go over, have it be my son, that was, that was a little scary. A week earlier, we had just taken a safety survival training course about exactly the same situation that might occur. They taught a lot of great skills there. And, you know, the next day we went out, grabbed a PFD, grabbed the personal EPIRB, and I started wearing that full time, you know. It's, it wasn't a hassle whatsoever. It just feels natural while I'm wearing it. That day, I did reach out to the trainers from uh, the Gloucester Fishermen's Wives Association, and, you know, I had to tell them the success story. Anytime that we're bringing a load of gear anywhere, I make the crew wear a PFD. Tyler was wearing a life jacket, thank goodness for that. I'm, I'm glad that he was, was doing that. I would say that that saved his life. The more you wear it, the better off you are. The more you wear it, the less you'll realize you're wearing it. So please wear them. Don't be stuck in your ways. You know, always be open to new things, especially PFTs. A little bit of being uncomfortable isn't the end of the world, but falling overboard without one could be.